Namaste. Please sit in a comfortable position. Sukhasana, easy pose, Vajrasana, Arpadmasana. Passively absorb your breath. Let's begin our session with three rounds of Omkar, followed by the starting prayer. Bring your palms together at the heart center in Namaskar Mudra. Take a deep inhalation. Inhale. Starting prayer. Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bhunatu Sahaviryam Karavavahai Tejasvi Navadhi Tamastuma Vidvishavahai Om Shant Shant Shanti Release your hands, take your hands behind you, holding the right fist with the left hand as you inhale. Take your head backwards. And as you exhale, bend forward, bring your forehead to the floor. Inhale, slowly come up. Release your hands. Gently open your eyes. When you're ready, come up to a standing position. We'll lose a few warm-up practices, starting with head to lose me. Bend your neck, bend your neck, bring your chin towards the chest. As you inhale, turn your head from the right side. Inhale, turning your head from the right side, right here, touching the right shoulder all the way back. And as you exhale, turn your head from the other side forward. Inhale. Exhale. Continue a few rounds at your own pace. With inhalation and exhalation. Last round. Notice the direction as you inhale. Turn your from the head from the left side. Maximum stretch all the way back. And exhale from the other side. Feel the nice neck rotation. start the practice. Bring your fingers on your shoulders, all fingers together. And bring your elbows forward, elbows touching each other. As inhale, raise your elbows up as high as you can. Expand chest, stretch maximum. And as you exhale, bring your elbows down from the back. Inhale up. Exhale down. Continue at your own pace for a few rounds. Slow inhalation and exhalation. Synchronizing your body movement with your inhalation and exhalation. Go to 10 rounds. And reverse the direction. Inhale all the way back, all the way up, 
Exhale down. Continue 10 rounds at your own pace. So let's start the practice. Spread your feet about one, one and a half feet apart. Bring your hands in front of you at shoulder level, palms together. Inhale, expand your arms all the way back. Exhale, forward. Continue a few rounds. Inhale and expand. Exhale, forward. Make sure your hands are moving at the shoulder level only. Speed up if you feel comfortable. Slow down. Slow down. And stop. Cross your fingers and place your palms behind your head. Take a nice inhalation. As you exhale, turn your torso to the right, taking your elbow all the way back. Inhale forward. Exhale on the other side. Inhale forward. Exhale to the right. And continue a few rounds at your own pace. And speed up if you feel comfortable. Slow down. Slow down. Stop. The next practice is Tadasana practices. So we'll start with uh, your fingers crossed and palms in front of your chest. Inhale, stretch out. Exhale towards you. Inhale, stretch out. Exhale towards you. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Do it at 135 degrees. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Well, let's do it 180 degrees. Inhale, take your hands all the way above your head, up straight. Give a nice linear stretch. Your whole body should be in one line. Give stretch, stretch, stretch. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale. Inhale and hold. Now as you exhale, swing towards your left side. Bend towards the left side as much as you can. Inhale up. Exhale to the right. Inhale up. Make sure only the upper body is bending. So everywhere from the middle part of the body should be the same. Okay, should, should remain in the same position. Feel the nice stretches to the entire sides. The next exercise is to the left. Let's hold the posture and keep breathing normally. 
stay as long as comfortable in this position. Few slow inhalation and exhalation in this. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bend towards the right side and hold. Do not bend your elbows. Do not bend the knees. And stay in the posture. Inhale, come up. And release your hands. Relax for a few moments. The next we will do is the Konasana breathing practices. Spread your feet about two and a half, three feet apart. Inhale, raise your hands at the shoulder level. And swing your arms, take your right hand above, left hand to the left knee. Slide your left hand as much below as you can. Inhale, come up. Exhale, swing to the other side. Right hand, right palm sliding your on your right foot, up to the right foot. Inhale, up. Exhale. Go as much as you can. And nice lateral bending. We'll stop the practice. Leaving your feet at the same place. Bring your hands at the shoulder level. Parivruta Tikona breathing practices. Take nice inhalation. And as you exhale, bend forward from your low back. Swing your arms, right hand to the left foot, left hand up towards the sky. Inhale, back to the tabletop. Inhale, come up to the standing position. Exhale, bend forward into the tabletop. Exhale, left hand to the right foot, right hand above. Inhale, come up. Continue at your own pace for a few rounds. Slowly start the practice and bring your feet together. Keep your feet about a couple inches apart, two, three inches apart. Inhale, raise your hands all the way up. Push your abdomen forward. Exhale, bend forward and swing your arms. Forward, bring Pada Hasta from the practices. Inhale up, exhale down. So we'll start the practice and relax for a few moments. Let's do begin our asana. Practices. Bring your feet together. Whole body straight in one line, evenly balanced on both the feet. Roll up your shoulders, chest is erect, and hands on either side. We'll start with Adhakadi Chakrasana. Inhale, slowly start raising your right hand up to the shoulder level. Exhale, turn the palm down. 
Inhale, slowly raise your hand all the way up. Until the right biceps are touching the right ear. Give a nice lean stretch, reach out higher as high as you can. And when you're ready, start sliding your left hand towards the left knee. And the whole upper body is naturally curved towards the left side. And left elbow. Do not bend the right elbow or knees. Nice lateral bend. Feel the stretch on the entire right side. And feel the compression on the left. Observe your spine. And enjoy the posture. Continue breathing normally. You may close your eyes if you feel comfortable. And stay in the posture. While in the final posture, observe the stretch and take a deep inhalation and exhalation. Stay as long as comfortable in the posture. Stira Sukhamasana, the posture should be comfortable and stable. If you feel any discomfort, come back to standing position. If you feel any tingling sensation in the right hand, it's normal. Exhale out completely. As inhale, slowly come up straight. Give a nice stretch. And with slow exhalation, slowly bring your hand down up to the shoulder level. Inhale and turn the palm down. Exhale, slowly bring your hand down all the way. Close your eyes and observe the changes. Feel the heaviness in the right side, the right hand. Let's repeat the asana on the left side. So as you inhale, slowly start raising your left hand up. Up to shoulder level. Exhale, turn the palm down. Palm, sorry, turn the palm up. Inhale, continue to raise the palm up. until the left bicep, stretching the left ear. Give a nice linear stretch on the left side, reach out higher. And as you exhale, slide your right hand to the right knee. Hold the posture, close your eyes and observe the things. Keep breathing normally, keep breathing normally in the final posture. Unless I specifically tell you to hold breath, do not hold breath. Feel the nice stretch to the left side, the collapse on the right. Adhikar Chakrasana is very good for the low back region and the entire back. After the next exhalation, as you inhale, slowly come up straight. Give a nice stretch. Exhale, turn the palm down, up to shoulder level. Inhale, turn the palm down, facing down. Exhale, bring your hand all the way down. Release and relax for a few moments, hands away from the body. Feet away from each other, head down, close your eyes and absorb the changes. Relax in this Shitala Tadasana, standing relaxation posture. Observing all the changes, allow the blood flow to get normalized. The next asana we will do is Adha Chakra Asana. Give your feet a few inches apart, hip width apart, hands 
supporting the low back region. Elbows in line with your body, not sideways, but in line with your body. Exhale out completely. And as you inhale, pushing your abdomen forward, take your head backwards, expand your chest. Into the final posture. Feel the nice expansion to the chest and the neck region and hold the posture, keep breathing normally. Stay as long as comfortable in the final posture. If you need to release, come back up straight with inhalation and again get back into the posture. Exhale, slowly come up. Release your hands and relax for a few moments. Relax in standing relaxation posture. Shitamatarasana. The next asana we'll do is a counter posture for this. We'll do the Padahastasana and hands to the feet posture. Again, start with the feet a couple inches apart. Inhale, raise both the hands up to the shoulder level. Exhale, turn the palms up. Inhale, raise your hands all the way up, palms facing forward. Wiggle your body, give a nice linear stretch. And as you exhale, bend forward into the tabletop position. Your hands parallel to the floor, upper body parallel to the floor. Adjusting your body as you exhale further. Bring your hands all the way down. You may rest your palms on either side of your feet. Head down. Try not to bend your knees. Feel the blood flow to the head region. Have a gentle smile and hold the posture. If you're able to grab your ankles, grab your ankles. Stay in the posture. It's slow inhalation and exhalation. For more stretches, you can tuck your palm under your feet, under your toes. If you're able to reach that far. Let's do a couple of variations in this. Cross your hands, grab your elbows, opposite elbows. Slowly turn towards your left side. And stay in the posture. Back to center. Slowly turn towards the right side. Back to center. Release your hands. Let's slowly come out of this asana. Do not rush. Come back to the tabletop position as you inhale and stay there. Allow your blood flow to get normalized. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, release your hands from the side. Inhale, palms down. And exhale, bring your hands all the way down. Release and relax in Shitla standing relaxation posture, hands away from the body, head down. 
absorb the changes, allow the blood flow to get normalized. When you're ready, gently open your eyes. Let's do Trikona Asana, starting sleeping. Start from the left side of your mats. Inhale, take your right foot away, about three, three and a half feet, as wide as you can. Inhale, raise your hands up to the shoulder level. Nice star position. Give a nice double stretch. Slowly slide towards the right side as if someone is pulling your right hand away from you. And swing your arms, take your right hand to the right leg, left hand up towards the sky. And look at the left hand fingertips. And hold the posture. Keep breathing normally. Do not hold your breath. Enjoy the nice Trikonasana triangle posture. Slow, deep inhalation and exhalation. Observe the nice stretch to the entire back and the sides. If you feel comfortable, you can go down further. You may turn your right palm, right foot, right side, and grab your right ankle. Nice sideways stretch. Enjoy the posture, very good posture for concentration, focus, flat foot, the entire back. Inhale, slowly come up. Raise your hands, bend your right knee and bring the feet together. Slowly move to the right side of your mat. We'll repeat the asana on the other side. Inhale, take the left leg out, three, three and a half feet away. Slowly bring your hands up to the shoulder level, nice star position. Slide towards the left side and swing your arms. Place your left palm on the left leg and right hand towards the sky, right palm facing forward, look towards the right hand fingertips. Angulia Gadrishti. Stay there, keep breathing normally. If you feel comfortable, you can slide further down. Turn your left foot 90 degrees, grab your left ankle. And continue to stay in the posture. Inhale, slowly come up. Turn your left foot forward, release your hands, bend the left knee and bring the feet together. Relax for a few moments. Let's do Parivrutta Trikona Asana. We'll do the left side first. So as you inhale, take your left foot about three feet away. Bring your hands at the shoulder level, inhale. 
turn towards the sides. Turn your torso to the left side. And as you exhale, bend forward towards the left. Bring the right hand to the left side of your left leg and left hand up towards the sky. And stay in the posture. Parivrutta Trikonasana. Twisted triangle posture. Keep breathing normally. If you're not able to go all the way to the floor, you can place your hand on your left knee. Stay there. Keep breathing normally in the final posture. After a few slow breaths, inhale, slowly come up. Turn forward. Raise your hands, bend left knee, and bring the feet together. So we move towards the left side. We'll liquid the asana on the right. Inhale. Take your right leg about three feet apart. Bring your hands to the shoulder level. Turn your torso to the right this time. Bend forward to the tabletop and place your left hand on the outside of your right leg and right hand up towards the sky. Stay in the posture, keep breathing normally. Feel the nice twist to the entire back. Slow, deep inhalation and exhalation in the final posture. Inhale, come back to the tabletop. Inhale, come up. Turn the torso forward. Release your hands. Bend the right knee and bring the feet together. Relax for a few moments in standing relaxation posture. Shitala Tadasana. When you're ready, open your eyes. The next asana we'll do is a katasana, the chair posture. Starting sitting, spread your feet about one, one and a half feet apart. We'll do two variations of a katasana. Inhale, bring your hands in front of you, shoulder level. Raise up on your toes. And as you exhale, sit as if you're sitting in a chair. Knees pointing forward, not sideways, but only pointing forward. Go down as much as you can. Inhale, come up. Exhale, sit back. Inhale, come up. Exhale, sit back. Inhale. Exhale and hold. Stay there as long as comfortable. Feel the pressure on your knees. Very good asana for strengthening the knees. Inhale, come up. And release your hands. We'll do again. Inhale, raise up on the toes. Exhale, sit back. Stay. You can go down as much as you can, as you feel comfortable, and stay there. If the knees are trembling, that's okay. Stay as long as comfortable.
Inhale, come up. Exhale, release your hands. The next asana, we'll do Utkatasana variation. Try to find a spot next to a wall. And start with about one, one and a half feet in front of the wall. Two feet, about one feet apart. Slowly, sit with your back against the wall. Adjust your body and try to bring your thighs parallel to the floor and hands in front of you. Stay there and the entire body leaning towards the wall. Slowly using your hand support, slowly come back. Relax for a moment. When you're ready, come back to a sitting position. Let's do a few, few sitting asanas. We'll start with Prasimottana asana. Bring your feet together, hands by the side, back straight. Start with sitting, uh, starting sthiti, Dandasana. When you're ready, as you inhale, bring your, take your hands all the way above, palms facing forward, adjust your body. And when you're ready, exhale, bend forward, inhale up, exhale, bend forward, inhale up, exhale, bend forward, inhale up, exhale, bend forward, and hold the posture. Grab your big toes if you can, if you're able to reach big four, be your big toes. If not, grab your ankles or knees, whichever level you are comfortable with. If grabbing your toes is easy, grab your toes from the sides. If you're not able to reach your toes, bend your knees slightly, Grab your toes and walk your heels forward. Whichever level you are at, just stay in the posture. Feel a nice stretch to the thighs, hamstrings, your back, in the low back region, especially. After the next exhalation, as we inhale, slowly come up. Release your hands from the side. And relax in Shitala Dandasana, hands away from the body, feet away from each other. Head back. Close your eyes and enjoy the posture. Let's do the counter posture for this. We'll do the Ustrasana. Bring your feet together, starting Siddhi. Bend your right knee. Bring the right foot behind you. Bend the left knee. Sit in nice 
Vajrasana. Slightly spread your knees. Come up onto your knees. Slowly place your hands on your knees, on your low back, sorry. All the fingers together. And elbows in line with your body. Exhale out completely. And as you inhale, push your abdomen forward, expand the chest, take your head backwards, stretch the neck into Ardha Ustrasana, half camel posture. And those of you who are comfortable, you can go to the full camel posture. Taking your right hand to the right heel and left hand to the left heel. Feel the expansion to place entire front region. Stay there as long as comfortable. Slowly come up. And sit back in Vajrasana. Let's do the counter posture for this forward bend. We'll do the Shashankasana. Take your hands behind you, holding the right wrist with the left hand. Inhale, slowly take your head backwards, stretch your back. As you exhale, slowly start bending forward, your abdomen touching your thighs, just touching your knees. Bend as much as you can. And try to bring your forehead towards the floor. Release the hands. Lay your hands on the side. Or you can stretch your hands in front. Slow, deep inhalation in the final posture. You can stretch your separate, spread your knees a little further if you want to get more stretch. Slowly walk your hands backwards and come up as you inhale. So from here, let's go into the Supta Vajrasana. Back bend. Listen to your body and do only to the extent you are comfortable with. Slowly take your hands, palms behind you. Walk backwards as much as you can. And when you're ready, place your elbows onto your mat. Turn your head backwards and try to rest the crown of your head on the floor. If you're not able to do it, it's okay. Just do the stretch to the extent you are able. Those of you who have some flexibility, you can walk your elbows forward. Try to bring your head to the floor. Keep breathing normal in the final posture. When you come out, don't rush, do it slowly. Use your elbows and hands, pressing your elbows firmly on the floor. Walk your elbows backwards, place your palms, using the support of your hands, slowly come up. Sit in Sukhasana.
lay down on your back. Lay down on your back into the Shavasana. We'll do one last asana in this. The lumbar stretch. Slowly bring your hands at the shoulder level. Palms facing the floor. Bring your legs at the knee. Bring your heels as close to your back as possible. Take a nice inhalation. And as you exhale, take your knees to the right, head to the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale, take the knees to the left and head to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to the other side. Continue a few rounds at your own pace. Cross your legs, right over left, or either other way, it's fine. For more steps. Switch the legs and continue. So let's start the practice. Stretch out your legs, bring your hands down and relax in Shavasana. Close your eyes and observe the changes. So we'll do one more asana in this position. Slowly turn towards your left side. Place your left palm under your head to support your head. Right palm in front of your body, left leg over the right, or the right leg over the left. And when you're ready, inhale, raise your right leg up as high as you can. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale and hold, hold as long as you're able to, without bending the knee. Exhale, bring it down. Turn towards the other side. You can continue. Inhale, raise your leg up. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and hold. Exhale, slowly bring it down. And relax, it's your asana. Lay down on your back, feet away from each other, hands away from the body. Palms facing up, fingers naturally curled. Take a few deep breaths. Just wiggle your body, make sure there are no tight spots anywhere. Let's do QRT, quick relaxation technique. So slowly bring your awareness to your toes. Slightly move your toes and relax. Relax the soles. Relax the heels. 
Relax the ankle joints. Relax the entire right foot and left foot. Relax your calf muscles. Relax the knee joints, kneecaps. Slightly squeeze your knees and release. Relax your thighs and hamstrings. Relax your abdominal region. Relax the low back region. Feel the nice relaxation to the entire low part of the body. Feel the inhalation and exhalation in your abdominal region. As you inhale, your abdomen rises up. As you exhale, it collapses in. To enhance our relaxation, let's produce the akara sound, ah sound as we exhale and feel the vibrations resonate in the lower part of the body. Inhale. Uh... Feel the vibrations of Akara. Slowly bring your awareness to your low back region. Relax the middle back and upper back region. Sensitize your spine from the low back to the neck. Relax the upper abdominal region. Relax the rib cage, lungs, feel your heartbeat. Relax the entire chest region. Relax your neck region. Relax the shoulders, biceps, triceps. Elbow joints, forearms, wrist joints, and the palms. Slightly move your fingers. Feel the entire middle part of the body is completely relaxed. To enhance the relaxation, let's produce the ukara sound, ooh sound as we exhale and feel the nice vibrations in the middle part of the body. Inhale. Feel the vibrations of Ukara. Slowly bring your awareness to your neck and throat. Moist in your throat, swallowing a little bit of saliva. Relax the chin, jaws, the mouth, nose, <coughs> eyes, temples. Relax the back of your head. Relax the crown of your head. And relax the forehead. With your focus on the third eye position, mentally scan the whole body from your heels to the back of your head, from your toes to the top of your head. 
to enhance the relaxation in the head region. Let's put this Makara sound mm, so as we exhale. Take a deep inhalation. Mm. Feel the nice vibrations of Makara. Feel yourself getting completely relaxed. Let's slowly come out of the relaxation. Slide your hands all the way above your head. Give a nice linear stretch to the whole body. Bending your knees using the support of your left hand, slowly turn towards the right side. Rest your head on the right hand, and left hand on the body. Can you look in front of your abdomen? Using the support of your hands, slowly come up to a sitting position. Sit in any meditative posture for pranayama. So let's do Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama, alternate nostril breathing. Place your thumb, uh, right hand, fold your uh, index and middle fingers in the right hand, and place your thumb on your right nostril, exhale from the left nostril. Closing the left nostril with your ring finger, open the right nostril. Inhale. Exhale from the left, opening the left nostril. So that completes one round. Inhale from the left, exhale from the right. Inhale from the right, exhale from the left. Continue up to six to seven rounds at your own pace. Slow, complete inhalation and slow, complete exhalation. After the next exhalation from the left side, stop the practice. The next pranayama we'll do is Kani B sound. Adopt chin mudra. Close your eyes. Take a deep inhalation. As you exhale, produce the honey bee sound. Like a mmm sound. Mm. So as you produce the makara sound, feel the nice vibrations of makara. Do your at your own pace up to six to ten times. Mm. Mm. 
the next exhalation, stop the practice. We'll end our session with one round of Omkar followed by the closing prayer. Bring your palms together at the heart center. Namaskar Mudra. Inhale. Closing prayer, Shanti Mantra, peace prayer. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha, Sarve Santu Niramayaha, Sarve Badrani Pashyantu, Makas Chittukha Bhagavit, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. May all be happy, may all be healthy, may all beings be peaceful. Peace, peace, peace. So today being Mahashivaratri is a very good day for meditation and contemplation. So those of you who are following, uh, please spend your time today in dhyana and meditation as much as you can. Release your hands, take your hands behind you, holding the right wrist with your left hand. As you inhale, take your head backwards. As you exhale, bend forward, bring your forehead to the floor, thanking the great divine. Inhale, slowly come up. Release your hands. Stop your palms, make them nice and warm. And transfer the warmth to your eyes, placing your palms on your eyes, cupping your eyes. Give a gentle massage to your forehead, throat, and neck. With your palms in front of your eyes, looking towards your palms with a few blinks, open your eyes. Namaste and thank you.